Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Murugan, your PSM faculty. Uh, this is a video on uh, PSM uh, Residency Explorer series. So, uh, PSM Residency, uh, we will discuss in four headings. First is, uh, what is the curriculum of this PSM subject? Uh, what are the job opportunities? Where I should do my residency and what I should do my residency? So, as far as the curriculum is concerned, okay, you know that uh, we have, uh, it's a three-year course and uh, within the curriculum totally 36 months what are the topics that is covered okay so they want you to train as a public health administrator so topics related to public health administration will be there epidemiology will be there biostatistics will be there program related will be there maternal and child health okay demography nutrition occupational health these are the various topics that will be there common question students they will ask us is that where i'll be posted in psm so uh postings in psm you will be posted in uh uhtc that is urban health training center and rural health training center every medical colleges okay especially uh government or private medical college they should run either phc or they should have a rural and urban health training centers they should have okay so that you will be trained there. you will learn about administration you will learn about management techniques okay you will see patients and you will do some form of research you will be doing there apart from that you will be posted in public health institutions you will be posted and you will be posted in phcs so apart from this okay what is the teaching learning methods that will be followed Okay, for uh, PGs, the teaching learning method will be uh, maybe seminar presentation will be there, journal club you will have, okay, case discussion you will have. So once you completed your postings, your teachings, okay, at the end of three years, okay, you will write your exams, which includes four papers, theory papers, and as well as practicals. As a mandate for uh, mandatory, you should have certain requirements, such as that you should do a dissertation. That that is for every postgraduate, you should do a dissertation, and you should publish one paper, and you should present in a conference, oral as well as poster presentation. And as a part of your curriculum, you should complete uh, this basic uh, course in biomedical research. Okay, we have this YM portal is there. Okay, so you as a part of a PG curriculum, it's mandatory you have to do. It. Apart from this, recently. Uh, the the NMC has included you with the uh, district residency program also they have started okay what is this district residency program so you'll be posted at secondary level okay this is this is for every uh, PG student so along with that in PSM we, you also will be posted at secondary level of care so our public health institutions will be posted okay like DD office okay or you'll be posted in uh, uh, various other places okay national health mission program related will be posted there where you can have your learning there now we'll go to the second heading, the most common one that students commonly ask. What are the job opportunities I will get? Right now we are having maximum number of medical colleges. Let us start with the first one, basic one. So you can join medical college as a faculty. Okay, if it's a private college, you can go directly to the college after completing, you can give you a CV. And if vacancy is there, uh, based on the requirement, they will appoint you that is directly as a senior resident. A government college, if you have to join, means the every state government, they run a, what is the exams they conduct. So once you write the exam and once you clear the exam and you will be posted. What is the advantage of working in a government as well as private? Uh, the salary is reasonable salary and uh, it's a fixed timing job okay mostly it starts from 8 30 to 4 or 9 to 4 okay the timing will be there but it's a fixed timing job okay before that and after that okay you have your own time that is one of the advantage we have private as well as government medical colleges so you'll be posted as joining as ESA and you can become assistant professor uh, later on you can become a, a associate professor then professor so in seven, eight years, okay, you will become a professor, okay, if you are working in a private college. Uh, that is the advantage, okay, that is the advantage. And uh, the pay also will vary based on the uh, uh, duration, okay. Now, second option. So second option is that you can join as a public health officer, you can join. Uh, we have these various institutes we have, public health officer at district level or at the uh, corporation level or municipality level, okay. So you can join as a public health institution, you can join, public health officer. Uh, it's a government post okay it's, it's a good post it's a good post okay pay is good okay only drawback is that the working hours is not fixed okay so that that depends where you work and uh, based on the government needs okay so you may have to work little prolonged hours third one so you can join as a, a, a consultants in the programs okay for example we are having this NTP program NACO okay AIDS program so TB program you can join as a consultant or you can join as a WHO consultant, you can join at various levels. Uh, for example, polio program, you have a TB program. The salary is good, 
but all these jobs field jobs it's a really good salary and uh, good field experience will be there but one drawback is that the working hours will be little bit prolonged second you have to travel a lot for example you will be posted in a state okay so as a md community medicine person he is a person you you will be given in charge for a few districts or maybe a state so you have to travel all these places and you have to observe what is happening okay you have to run their activities okay and that's why traveling will be high you can join in ngo as a program manager you can join and pay is good okay again work maybe a prolonged work maybe the timings timings maybe a little bit prolonged and we have this national institutes we have this icmr okay you can join there as a research consultant it's a good pay job okay so it's through interview and you have to join that is based on your uh, cv you can join pharma companies okay as a research consultant now after completing some course okay you can join there as a occupational health officer you can join and finally uh, you can do your own clinical practice in the curriculum we will be posted in other departments also uh, medicine og pediatrics okay so there is a option for you to develop as a good clinician opportunity will be there so if you are interested in practice you can learn it and you can do your own practice so many of my seniors are doing good practice they work in medical colleges okay my colleagues are doing okay? they work in medical colleges in the evening hours okay they can do part time practice they can do so where i should do my residency this is a common question students will ask so i would say that okay if you are doing residency uh, the residency these are the order you can keep central institutes okay central institutes means that will give you some better exposure like aims pga jipma those places you will get a better uh, exposure you get otherwise you medical colleges at the state capitals uh, like uh, you have mumbai is there okay chennai okay delhi okay and uh, hyderabad like that state capitals are there means it's a better place okay uh, where you can get have a good networking your hods and other teachers they have good networking so you will be exposed in programs a third you can go and join government colleges because government colleges they run projects so uh, you are you will be part of the projects and uh, you will be posted there in various phcs in other areas the postings will be good so that will be a learning opportunity finally you can join private medical colleges private medical colleges should be just check there whether they are having good teaching program if it is there okay then you can join so the final one okay what i should do my residency in your residency just keep that in mind okay so it's not a ug you you should pass and come it's a pg level uh, being in pg level you should focus on getting knowledge as well as skills so the knowledge in terms of if you want to be a researcher the knowledge should be in terms of uh, epidemiology biostatistics and uh, administrator if you want means you should develop those skills management skills you should develop good networking with other people okay contacts are important here and uh, uh, if you are interested in teaching okay develop your uh, teaching skill okay from pg level itself okay you can develop so some some universities uh, uh, say that you should have pedagogy should be there okay that means that they will assess your uh, teaching skills also okay during your pg exams some states may have some states may not have and what i would say is this is the time for you to learn some uh, uh, languages also for example uh, if you want to work in the field level okay and uh, suppose you are from south india uh, but field level work will take you to various places maybe uh, north india also so it's better to learn hindi also it's better to learn hindi people from north india they are coming and working in field level okay uh, better to learn some other languages so these are the areas you can concentrate you can concentrate and uh, these are the headings we have discussed okay so i i'll share my journey i did my ug uh, from keel park medical college in chennai and pg i have completed from nhl medical college ahmedabad so uh, during pg time itself i know that uh, i am very passionate about teaching so i concentrate i took a track of teaching so uh, i i joined a medical college at that time there was no sr so i joined as assistant professor later on became associate professor then professor then professor in head okay uh, as a part of my uh, uh, uh part time work i i do teaching in these pg centers okay fine so similarly you can build your career uh whichever area you are interested okay so uh, you can join okay and you can develop it okay look community medicine as such has lot of opportunities to work so you need not to work only in medical colleges if you are really interested in the field you can do field work you can join central institutes okay you can join research institutes okay ngos okay there are various opportunities are there. so hope this video gives you some insight into uh, psm residency and one more question people will ask is how hectic the residency 
and uh, usually it should not be hectic okay it's more fixed working hours un- unless there are some emergencies and other things otherwise it's fixed working hours would be there so you will have your free time so you can develop and concentrate on other skills and areas so hope this residency video gave you some okay uh, insight into uh, md psm or md community medicine okay uh, see you soon in some other video thank you